Hi, I'm Lucy McDonald and I am a physiotherapist and this is the third in my series of Wiggle Away Your Pain. So the, the first one we talked around um, wiggling away your lower back and hip or groin pain. Today I'm going to talk about wiggling away neck, shoulder pain, but it's also good for, for any kind of pain because any movement is really good for pain. So the reason that I decided to do this today is because I've got a little bit of stiffness in here. Um, so I started to do some movements myself um, and I thought, well, why not? What a great opportunity to share them with you. So first things first, what I'd like you to do is put some good music on and away we go. So the first thing is just to think about drawing nice big round circles with your shoulders. So one at a time, nice big round circles, and you can start with going backwards, and then you can progress to coming forwards as well. So by drawing circles, what I mean is if you imagine that you're gonna draw a dot in, the, in your shoulder there, and then you're literally gonna draw big circles in the air with an imaginary paintbrush sticking out of your shoulder. So big circles forwards, and then likewise big circles back. And then what you can do is you can start to move your shoulders alternately forwards, and likewise move your shoulders alternately backwards. And as you can see, you can allow your body to move as much or as little as you like, depending on how free the movement feels and where you're at with, with your pain. The next thing to do is to think about allowing your arms to move with your shoulders. So just nice and gently allowing those arms to move, allowing the movement to spread all the way down your arm into your fingers. And what you're finding with this, or what you should be finding with this, is that you're getting nice and warm and nice and loose all around the top part of your neck and your shoulders. So keep going nice and gently. Now what movement is doing, what moving that area is doing, is it's increasing the circulation to the area, it's warming up the area, it's normalizing the nerve endings in the area, and it's increasing your body's ability to heal. So all of that nice movement, you should feel as you continue to move that it becomes nice and gentle and freer and freer. Now it could be that for you, just doing a little bit of movement is enough. You certainly shouldn't force the movement. So if it's becoming more uncomfortable, then please stop. You really need to get any kind of neck and shoulder pain assessed by a chartered physiotherapist or an osteopath. So please. Um, do get in touch um, and we can sort that out for you. But back to the movement. So nice round circles with the shoulders both ways, moving the shoulders back, moving the shoulders forwards, moving the shoulders and arms all together. And then what you can do is you can start to increase the range that you're moving your arms. So you can start to bring your arms forwards and then ultimately up in the air and all around. Now, as you bring your arms up, if you do have upper back or neck pain, this part might become a bit sore, so just take it nice and slowly. There's no hurry at all. You can just keep moving your arms like the swaying branches of a tree or uh, two lovely long snakes or um, anything lovely and smooth and gentle. I hope that's helped. It's certainly warmed up and loosened up uh, my stiff neck. I hope it has with you too. For more exercises, you can go onto our website. There's tons of stuff on neck pain, uh, back pain, shoulder exercises, etc. So if you'd like to see the next in this series, please do subscribe to the YouTube channel and do get in touch if you have any problems at all. Lucy MacDonald Physio at hotmail.co.uk or you can contact me through our website www.octopusclinic.com. Thanks. Bye.